Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you know that the lip plate is in the right spot on your face for setting you up for a good sound on the flute. It also sets you up for having control over your high notes, your low notes, everything in between and switching between them quickly. My name is Jane Kavanagh and I set up my business called The Flute Teacher School because I love showing people the fundamental techniques of playing the flute that really make a difference to their flute playing and very quickly as well. They're tiny little changes that make dramatic differences to someone's playing. I love that. I love getting really quick results for someone. Stick around to the end of this video and I'm going to show you how to quickly improve your tone and quickly make high notes easier. I'll tell you at the end, for now, I'm going to show you exactly how you know your lip plate is in the right spot on your mouth and why that's important. So if you go to a mirror and have a look at your face, your visage, there's a join between your bottom lip and the rest of your face. Keep that join in mind. Now, when you have your flute up at your mouth, if you looking in the mirror, roll it out, this edge or the edge closest to you of that hole, of the embouchure hole, should be right on that edge of your lip that I just mentioned. And so you can see by rolling it out and then rolling it back in that it should align with that. The reason that's important is because it will set you up for getting, it's like one of the, one of the absolute fundamental things for being able to get a good tone on the flute. It also sets you up for having control of your high notes and your low notes and being able to jump around between them, which is what flute playing is. You're never just playing one note. Melodies always jump around. So, I mean, that's just a melody that just sprung out of my brain right then. But you can see that there's jumps in there. And having the lip plate in the right spot is the basis of being able to learn the right way to jump around between high notes and low notes. I'm going to now give you a demo of what happens if it's too high and too low. So if it's too high, and I'm going to exaggerate this, I'm going to need to blow in a really weird direction. I don't know if you can see, but I've got to shove my jaw forward to be able to blow in the right spot. That's bad. You don't want to do that to your jaw. Now, if it's too low, the opposite happens. And I have to pull my jaw back to blow down. That is also bad. You don't want to go meddling with your jaw. So putting that closest edge exactly on that join is great because it means that your jaw doesn't have to move when you play. So how to quickly improve your tone on the flute? Like I said, that placement that I just showed you is one of the essential ingredients in being able to get a good sound. So you can come and join me for a masterclass that I'm doing online. It's free go to www.flute.school slash free and please come and join me and I'm going to show you more of the essential ingredients about getting a great tone on your flute or to put it differently, quickly change your sound into being less fluffy and more strong, strong, <laughs> otherwise known as stronger. <laughs> so hopefully I'll see you there.